<laughs> thanks for hanging out to me today, Doug. Uh, thanks for having me. I'm warning you, we, I'm in the back of the bus. We are driving somewhere in the middle of who knows where. <laughs> uh, so uh, if for some reason I lose signal or something like that, I'm just going to blame it on to life. I think that that is a reasonable thing. And you should just keep that excuse going for all mistakes today. Just be like, ah, I, I, use that, I use that excuse for everything. I would. I get out of family when obligations. A, when I'm not on a bus. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, not going to be able to make your wedding. I'm going to be on a bus. Yeah, I'm, I'm a dad. You're right in front of me. No, I'm on a bus. I'm on a bus. <laughs> but how does it feel being back on the bus and getting back into touring? Uh, it feels great. Um, it feels very familiar. Yeah. You know, it wasn't. Um, we got back in the bus and it's been, you know, aside from the you know 2020 when nobody did anything uh, our last real like touring on a bus was early in 2019 so it's actually been a couple of years but it's um it's so weird how you once you step on the bus your eyes like gravitate to certain things like just like always it's very it's very familiar you're, 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 you're there's a lot of muscle memory involved yeah Did, is it like any different i'd imagine coming off of COVID now how has touring changed or has it at all um, oh, it's a little different. Yeah, I mean, there's you know, selves have felt pretty normal, but there's not as much uh, meet and greet, you know, type things going on. Um, I don't think everybody's fully comfortable yet with that kind of uh, stuff. I mean, I, I'm just going to take time, you know, and yeah. sort of like cannonballing back into the, you know, a normal uh routine everybody's kind of just dipping their toe in and kind of testing the water sure uh, some bands kind of see meet and greets as um you know they like to connect with the fans but maybe they would rather get in the mindset of the show during that so do you think skipping that meet and greet now is an advantage or a disadvantage like do you feel less connected to your fans or do you feel like you can get more into the mindset no to be honest with you if doing meet and greets ever made me feel connected to the fans because mm -hmm. me, I always felt connected to fans just either on stage interactions with them or um, more I guess, I don't know, authentic <laughs> like just meeting them out in public or uh, out by the buses or you know somewhere it just felt more natural these meet and greets are often sure. thrown together by you know, radio stations or management, something like that. And it's very, it seems very calculated. And while it's fun for the fans and it's, and it's cool for us sometimes, um, you know, sometimes it happened right before we got to, you know, we're warming up or going on stage or something like that. It's not a big deal unless it's a huge meet and greet. Sure. But oh, as much as it is connecting with the fans, it was, it always feels a little contrived. Um, I'd rather meet them the old fashioned way. Sure. Oh, the, we're go, We're going in and out a little bit here. Okay. But I'm it's sorry. okay. No, it's totally fine. We're just going to do the best we can with what we got. No worries, man. Um, so how is the Summerland tour going so far? And we're ex so excited to see you in the Chicago land area. What can we look forward to? Um, it's, it's, I, I'm sure you've probably heard this with other, like, uh, traveling tour you know tours with multiple bands stuff like that it, it feels like summer camp yeah like everybody's really uh everybody's really cool we like everybody hangs out all, you know all the time um you know at any given moment for any band during their set there'll be multiple members of the other bands like right off stage watching and 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 um and it's only been like seven shows you know it's, it hasn't even been that far and, and i think there's already like a, a pretty healthy bond which I think is so important, man. I've been in so many tours where, you know, they, the bands will acknowledge each other and then, and, but everybody's kind of too in their own world and they don't really, you know, they play the shows and everything's cordial and everything, but it's not, it's a different thing when, when everybody kind of hangs out. And I'm a, a, last week I made a bunch of tacos for, for everybody. So and there's been multiple birth, there's been multiple birthdays. So everybody's been on everybody else's buses and singing and eating cake and tacos. So I, I think we're, we're creating a pretty good environment. Yeah. And I imagine <laughs> but that didn't that's... answer your question. You said, what can I expect? And I'm talking about tacos and cake. So Listen. Well, not, there won't be any tacos and cake at the Summerland tour. 
Well, now there I'm disappointed. <laughs> yeah. We were promised so tacos yeah. and cake. This is I bullshit. Know. You should have signs that say, where are my tacos and cake? Honestly, um, that's what we're going to do now. You're going to see all the signs. I, I'm, I'll, 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 I'm setting the bar way too high. That sounds like a hell of a show. Like a <laughs> bunch of rock music and tacos and cake. I, th- I feel yeah. like you could work this into your show. Like that would please everyone. First of all, you get to eat tacos in the middle of the show. Your fans get to see you eating tacos. You can't possibly make them for everyone, but wouldn't that be just? It would be awesome. The show <laughs> themselves, the shows themselves have been have been a lot of fun. Uh, I think it's a good mix of um, of uh, time periods. You know, <clears throat> like uh, Living Color, which I was a huge, or still am, a huge fan of. Um, you know, they broke kind of in the late '80s. You know, early '90s. And then Everclear was kind of like early to mid '90s, into late '90s, where we just had their success, and then we had our success like in the early to mid 2000s. So it got, it covers a lot of a lot of time, you know, and and that's it, a really cool, nostalgic, you know, vibe going on in the audience. And I don't know, it's it's just really it's it's a feel good show, you know, yeah. and it, and it as it should be because like I said. That backstage, like behind the scenes, everybody feels really good. Yeah, and that's certainly what we need right now, especially after coming off of last year. We just need a good, feel yes. good, rock out show. Just something, just something to, yeah, cut loose a little bit. Absolutely. And speaking of nostalgia, you guys are reaching a big milestone here the 20th anniversary on November 20th of your self titled yes. album. The 20th anniversary of our, our debut album uh, is November 20th this year. Uh, we're going to be playing a show at the Whiskey in Hollywood where we, you know, you know, polished our craft, <laughs> well, you know, sure. before we had our, uh, before we had our record deal. Um, and I think we might even play there for the, the debut, you know, years ago. So um, it'll be a very nostalgic throwback uh, uh, event. Plus we have all this uh, um, unreleased footage um of the recording of that album and the tours behind that album for everything we've, for all the music we've ever written and recorded and toured on that album was the most documented. Mm. Um, yet we never had a reason to, to really release anything. And we're like, well, well, you know, what better time than now? Yeah. You found so the reason. We'll, yeah. We'll, we'll figure out how to, how to get it out to the people if anybody's interested. Um, but there's a lot, there's a lot of cool stuff. There's a lot of dumb stuff, but, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's about as honest as I can be about it. That's I feel like that's rock and roll in general. A lot of cool yes. stuff, a lot of dumb lot stuff. Of cool you stuff. marry the two, that's how you have fun. That's how marriages go in general. There's someone's cool <laughs> and someone's dumb. Hopefully it works out. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's the key to a lifelong marriage. Well, thanks for hanging out with us today, Doug. It's been a pleasure. We can't wait to rock out with you on the Summerland I, Tour. I'm excited. I'm excited. I love, I love the city of Chicago. Yeah, and have fun on your bus ride. <laughs> no, no. Check this out. Oh, look, look, look at this exciting scenery. Woo! Whoa. Look, it's look not that. every day you get to see residential areas like that. Okay, well, we're going through some someplace in Arkansas. I don't know where we are exactly, but it's pretty exciting, right? I bet there, there are probably some cool museums that you will be able to pass. <laughs> yes, we'll drive right there. They go. There it goes. There it goes. <laughs> There it goes, guys. World's biggest ball yard. Every time you get to just be like, next time. And then next time. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, again, thanks for hanging out and uh, awesome. have fun looking at all the wonderful sights to be seen all right. in residential Thank Arizona. I'll, 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 I'll start prepping the tacos. Yes, tacos. Uh, my, I, w- I would like a fish taco and carnitas, please, and thank you. Ooh, okay. okay. Deal. Awesome. Right. Shake. <laughs> have a good one, man. Thank <laughs> you.